what's going on everybody i'm steve ludwig also known as mr insurance uh so what ends up happening if um you have a young driver and they needed to be added to your insurance policy uh you know a 15 year old turning into a 16 year old licensed driver what happens you know how does that all work and what happens if i essentially don't add them to the policy then what happens there um so i wanted to go back about seven months ago and i had a client that reached out to me and they were trying to be able to get you know some rates for their uh, their kid was getting ready to turn of age to be able to be a licensed driver and all of a sudden you know they're needing insurance on that that particular uh, kid and so they you know I sent over a couple of the different rates kind of explained you know why things were a little bit more expensive generally you know a, a teen driver a little bit more reckless um, you know the rates are kind of determined by a couple of different factors you know obviously good grades or good student uh, if you're male if you're female where you live you know all the above um, but what ended up happening is is that this person said oh you know you're way too expensive and uh, they actually ended up going and they got a cut rate insurance product online and uh, they didn't ever report that the the uh, the child was supposed to be added to the policy they just decided not to be able to add it um, and what ended up happening is is that you know fast forward a little bit this teen driver ended up getting into an accident and there were passengers in the vehicle with this girl and she ended up killing a couple of the people that were in the car there was fatalities that had happened and the mother called me back and uh and she said you know, I wish I could go back and I can rewind about seven months ago because now my insurance company is not wanting to pay the claim. So let me tell you guys kind of, you know, how these circumstances happen. One, in that scenario, you know, you're gonna get what you pay for. So you go online, that's obviously, it's a tragic uh, occurrence that had happened. Nobody wants to see that, um, where there's fatalities involved in any kind of accident, regardless of insurance or, or whatever. But, you know, when those kind of things happen, that's when people start looking to break out the lawsuits. That's when, you know, the wrongful deaths start coming out. That's when, you know, the injuries and, you know, the, the major life changing type of things that, that happen in that. So in this particular insurance company, they reserve the right to go in there. And if there's misrepresentation, they reserve the right to refund the premium and not pay the claim, which is exactly what happened. Uh, I've preached this on a number of different occasions. Again, you get what you pay for. Good insurance companies, there's a reason why they're good. There's a reason why they've been around for a long time. And you know, in those circumstances, it might have played out a little different. Any kind of material representation, there's gonna have to be a little bit more up front known type of things such as like exclusions of hey this person was not going to be covered in this um this any accident or you know any type of incident um there's a lot of things that these companies do uh, so that there's no surprises um and then there's also there's costs that's affiliated with that listen i got three kids of my own and i can tell you there's a lot of things that i don't want to pay for and i can tell you that car insurance is one of them because it's super expensive nobody wants to pay that crap but you know what in circumstances like this this is the reason why you have insurance and this is the reason why that you know that we have again those those policies in play because now if she had done those things now those lawsuits they would all be taken care of with the bodily injury you know and the property damage that was caused by the accident would now be taken care of the medical payments would have paid out there could have been a much much different scenario there for this person and again she came back to me and she had said hey um you know I actually, I called one of my insurance agent uh, buddies in town and they said, oh, you don't have to add that person on. Well, shame on you, sir, because yeah, you do need to add those persons on. And unfortunately, there's a lot of agents out there that they will try to cut corners. I'm not one of them. There's 
a lot of things that you need to really go through with an insurance professional that's experienced. Uh, if it's not me, somebody that hopefully will give you the, you know, the clean side of the story over here of how things are supposed to be. But we insure for your situation and many times that is again you're getting what you pay for it is expensive there's a lot of people that don't want to pay for it but we still have to pay for it to be able to make sure that we're covered properly so if you have questions or if you've ever had something like this happen to you uh, go ahead and leave the questions down here below I'll try and answer those back as quickly as I can but again until next time guys we'll talk to you soon